Rail fence quilt blocks are traditional blocks that are popular because they're quick and easy to make and they're very versatile. Today, I'm going to show you how to make different sizes of rail fence blocks with little or no math. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. This rail fence block is four and a half inches square, so it will finish in your quilt at four inches. And this was made in the traditional manner. I cut strips of fabric, the whole width of fabric. Because there's four scripts and it's four inch block, each block is gonna finish at one inch, so I cut one and a half inch strips. Don't forget to add the seam allowance. And once the strips were cut, then I sewed them all together into this piece that is called a strip set. And once this was done, I just cut this into four and a half inch squares. The nice thing with rail fence blocks though, is if your seam allowance is off a little bit, that is really easy to compensate for. When you have your strip set made, just measure your strip set. And if it doesn't quite reach the size or if it's too big for the size that you thought you were gonna get, that's fine. Just cut all your squares at whatever the width is that you measure. And as long as they're all squares the same size, everything is gonna work out in your quilt. This is also really good with scrappy blocks. You could just take a bunch of different strips of all different widths, sew them together, and as long as you cut squares the same size, it's all gonna go together fine. Even though this block is done with four fabrics, you can use however many different fabrics you want. It's totally up to you. You could use three fabrics, four, seven, eight, even 10. If your pieces aren't long enough to make strip sets, they can still be used to make rail fence blocks. This is really great for scrappy quilts. For these blocks, I just went to my two and a half inch bin and took out everything that was blue and white. And from this, I cut two and a half by eight and a half inch rectangles. Then I sewed the rectangles together. And even though they're all different fabrics, I just lined them up from light to a dark orientation. And it's gonna give the quilt a cohesive look, even though it's all different fabrics. This block is also a four inch block, but you can see that the middle strip is twice as wide as the top and bottom strips. This gives it another interesting look when it's put together with other pieces. You can get my Rail Fence Inspiration Workbook for lots more ideas on Rail Fence Quilt. This will give you inspiration on different quilt designs and coloring pages that you can use to design your own layouts. Check the link below for more information. So whether you're a beginner and you're new to quilting, or you're an experienced quilter who just needs a quick and easy last minute project, Rail Fence is always a great option. Have fun playing with this design and making your own Rail Fence quilts. For more information, tutorials, and inspiration, check out my website, evidastudio.com.